Hello guys, Blue Gaming 22 here. Today I'll be showing you how I make country balls from the thumbnails you see. I will also be putting time steps in the description for you to skip around and a link to get the, to those websites that we will be using. So the first thing we will have to do is go to your search bar and type in getpaint.net. This is the website we will be using to download from and the application is called paint.net. It is a free alternative to Photoshop. I will buy the cracked version of those. Now that we're on the website, we will click on the download tab. It is also very important that you must follow a minimum system requirement. You must have a 64-bit computer. If you have a 32-bit computer, then I don't know if I can help you with that. However, if you have a Mac and you desperately want to download Paint.net, then download Bootcamp and follow the instructions since it only works for Windows computer. I will post a YouTube link from 9 to 5 Mac for the explanations. Now that you have done those steps, scroll down and click on the dot pdn logo don't be stupid and pay ten dollars from the microsoft app store trust me the free version has no viruses once you have done that follow the instructions also make sure you check the box to make a shortcut next you will type in winrar on your browser search bar winrar is a very good application for extracting dots and files not just for paint.net but for any applications that you can use now you have to click on download winrar and then click on the 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit computer, click on the 32-bit link and follow the instructions. Now that you have done those, we will now download some plugins. Next, we're going to type in paint on a pirate child and then click on the first link. Then you will download a zip file. The reason is that because we're going to drag some things manually instead of like automatically downloading it. Click on it. If there's ads, do whatever you can. And then, boom, you're done. Now you have to do, you're going to extract to pyrochild.2020-11-21st. Now we will click on the folder and you will see all the DLL files we will be using. Now we will right click on the shortcut, open file location, go to the effects, get your own folder here and then drag grid war. I know it will not show align objects, but for some reason, you don't really have to use it. Just use grip war. Alright, so we open up paint done and we're gonna add a new layer by clicking square with the plus sign. Then we go to our shape tool, click on eclipse, change our brush width to 25. And then you see this curvy line with three dots, we're gonna toggle it until you see a staircase line. And it indicates that anti alias is off. The reason why we need it off is because we won't see white spots. And if even if we see white spots, then it's gonna be bad. Alright, so now we're going to make a, like a near perfect circle to whatever size you want. Oh yeah, rem remember when I said you need a line object? You pretty much don't. You have to estimate the center of your canvas size. If you do use a, a line object, go to effects, object, line object, and then center. Alright, so we get our grid warp. Go to the effects, tools, grid warp. Grid warp, I mean. Now we're going to make it like a natural ball shape. Like that, right, effects, object, align object, center, if we're using it. Now we're going to add a new layer, move it to below the circle line, then we're going to make our base shadow, so control C, control V, then we're going to use our like cursor, move it down, into like wherever you want to put it, like that, perfect, use our bucket tool, Choose it to like a light gray color, follow it to the base, perfect, like that, and we're going to have fill there. Then you can change our opacity to like below halfway, like this. Then we're going to make our main shadow, so layer, put make a new layer, put it below the circle, change our brush width to about between 50 and 75, we're going to do it like 60. Change our hardness to the maximum. And then make the curve line below the middle. So like that. If you mess things up, do control Z. Perfect. Then you guys have to like fill it in. Like that. Then we're going to go to effects. Blur, Darcy and Blur, 
they change their radius to however you like, dude. Alright, I got mine. Alright, so use our magic wand tool. Make sure you like select out of the circle and do control X on your shadow or control X. Then your inner circle, control X on your base shadow. Perfect. Now we're gonna click on our main shadow by double clicking on it and click on multiply for the blend mode. Alright, now we're going to get our flags. For the sake of the tour, we're going to use the UK flag. And then choose whatever flag you like. But you have to visit their site, however, to get the, like, the good quality. Then you're going to copy image. And control V on your new layer. Do canvas size, and you're going to have to align the flag with the base. Perfect. Then we're going to use our grid warp. Effects, tools, grid warp, make it two by two. Then you're gonna have to move it to wherever you want your character. Okay, so if your character is based to the le left, then you're gonna have to move it to the left. For your character to, to like look at the right, to move to the right. In this case, we're gonna move it to our right. Oh yeah, by the way, you can also like move the corners also. Cause gonna be better luck with it all right now that we get our like like four more flags we got to put it at the lowest layer control X all right now we're gonna get our eyes so for our eyes change our brush width to 15 Let's select this to draw fill with shape with outline then you're going to have to change this to the default black and white. And then we're going to make our eyes. Like, 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 get your eyes and then move it to where you want your ball to face. So if you're, uh, if your character, like, looking at the right, you, you have to put your eyes at the right. If you want your character to the left, put your eyes at the left. So, stuff like that. Or you can also, like, like use the rectangle tool and then move your eyes separately to where you like it. In this case, I like this way. You can make the UK happy. You can make the UK angry. In this case, we're gonna make him angry. Like that. Now to do with his with his right eye. All right. Then you have to use our brush tool. Change the brush width to like a thin size, and you're gonna have to, or if something that is like extra, like not not needed, then you repeat it for the same eye. Perfect. Now we're gonna go to our browser. Type in. You can, you can get any gun you want, like AWP for this example, since it's a British sniper. Uh, I like this, I like this one. Control, copy, new, and then click OK. All right, so in case of if, like, if you're sketchy about the background not being transparent, what you're gonna do, grab our magic wand, click on it, and then look closer for any details that you wanna, like, Remove like this. Oh, yeah, you can also do if you hold copy and then left click, you can you can select multiple times at once. And then control X, perfect. Control C, get your gun, new layer, and then do canvas size if it's big. And make sure it's like above like all your layers. All right, so what are we gonna do? To rotate it, you're gonna have to hold right click and then move it to wherever you like, like up and down. In this case, I like it like kind of upwards. We go to our layer tab, flip ver like flip horizontal, and then perfect. Then we're gonna control shift S or save as. Then we're gonna then you can name it whatever you want. Like I, I would highly recommend you make a separate folder for that because it can make you more organized and you're gonna 
name it whatever you want. We're gonna name it Geekface AWP. Save. Okay. Clapping. Also, I forgot to mention, make sure you make your background transparent by deleting the layer by clicking on the square with the X on the background layer, or you could just uncheck the check mark on the background layer. And make sure you save it as a PNG file. Also, I apologize for all the stuttering and all like the confusion. I'm just not used to using my voice when recording videos. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe or comment, and um, yeah, see ya.